do you reckon that was one for like there's a lot of been talk about lately about UFC money and and in you fought in the UFC. Do you reckon yeah. what what's your stance on that, or do you want to comment on it or not? Um, in, in what in what retrospect, pal? There was, there was like, sorry, there was like John Jones and Masvidal saying that fighters aren't getting paid enough and, and that the UFC screw people over. Then you've got people like um, Josh Josh Thompson saying that you get more in Bellator than you'll get in the UFC and free agents should check free agency out and things like that. What's, um, what's your take? The thing is, it's, it's hard for me to comment because with me, I never know where my career's going. You know, I might if I, if I ever had a couple of MMA fights to get offered to fight in the UFC again, I'd probably take it. But so it's hard to comment on something like that and without oh. sort of burning the bridges. But yep. um, so with me with my UFC contract, I would just talk about same with, like, with my experience with the UFC and my my contract with the UFC. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't get cut from the UFC. I asked my manager to get me out of the UFC. I didn't want to be in it. Okay. Uh -huh. The reason why, so, so I won't go down the route of money and stuff, because, you know, I was yeah. on, I think once I signed my second contract, they started me on, like, um, my second contract, they started me on, I think it was uh, 20 and 20. So, uh -huh. you know, and then it went up and up with each fight I had. But taking bad yeah. pay, you know what I mean, for my, for, for fifth fight in the UFC. But even still, 20 and 20, this is what people don't get. So I spend, say, three months away from my family, yep. right? $20,000. I spent three months away from my family. Mm -hmm. um, when I spend three months away from my family, I've still got to pay for my house home here. I've still got yep. to pay all my bills home here. But then at the same time, I've still got to pay all my training fees while I'm away. I've still got to pay for my food, my accommodation away. So I've got two lots of living. So I've yeah. got two, living in two lifestyles that I've got to pay for. Then all of a sudden, just say, for example, my, my fight press was 20 and 20. I lose the fight. So I've only got mm -hmm. $20,000, right? Sounds yeah. a lot, yeah? But then most athletic commissions take between 30 and 40%. Straight away, uh -huh. how uh, as a tax, okay? So really, I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. Or let's just—I think standard in Vegas is thirty percent. So yeah, <laughs> off of so that's six thousand dollars off of the twenty. That's fourteen thousand dollars, right? Yeah. Then your management, especially if you had a dickhead management like I had, took the full fifteen percent before my tax was deducted as well. So, uh -huh. in total now, I've had 45% of my purse taken out, so I've yep. had $9,000 out of my purse taken out, and so I'm left with $11,000. That $11,000, yep. I transfer it back to English money, works out, what, about 8,000 quid? Yeah, eight or nine thousand, right. something like that. So eight, eight or nine thousand. So for those three months I've been away training, and I've had to pay three months worth of rent, three months worth of training and eating whilst I'm away. Mm -hmm. That's you pretty much consume six thousand dollars in debt, six thousand quid in debt with that. So I'm probably yep. left with two or three thousand at the end of it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? These are the yeah. sort of things that people don't see at the side. They think, back and now you're getting paid 20,000 quid, but they don't see it. Yeah. You know what I mean? These yeah. are the things people don't see. And this is why, but at the same time, it is a path we choose. So mm. we've already accepted that path. So can we moan about it? Can we not? I don't know. You, you tell me. This is why also as well, I think the sponsors were so important. I think the yeah. sponsors were so important because most of these fighters earned more money off of sponsors than what they were getting for fighting. And then Reebok mm -hmm. come in, and like, my, I think my first fight, I had like $2,500 sponsor was Reebok and a load of yeah. fucking shitty clothes. Just clothes are shit. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, but yeah. like, you know, the Reebok 
the Reebok attire is actually bollocks. So I wonder. I was giving yeah. most of it away. My man loved it every time I fought because he had a new set of Reebok shoes. <laughs> 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 oh man, don't be old man, dude. He loved it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of these, yeah. So like, so that they're not only like they they strip the fighters of their. You know, the, the sponsorship deals. And if you remember when Reebok come in, this is why yeah. <coughs> half of their top fighters went over to Bellator. Mm-hmm. Because they were earning so much money through sponsorship deals. And if they stayed with the UFC, they would have lost all that money. So, fuck this, we're going to Bellator and getting our half a million pound of fight sponsorship deals. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, um, I think. The thing is with the UFC, what I used to love about it in the early day, I used to love the individuality of it. Each fighter yeah. had their own style, do you know? Not their own mm-hmm. style, but when I say style, I don't mean their own fighting style. They had their own character through what they yeah. used to wear, and you know, and every fighter had their own character. And then they bring in this like uniform, and it just sort of dulled that it dulled characterism is that is that is that a word <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can't what you mean. Like, like, yeah. like Rich Franklin had his pink shorts Tito had his fire on his shorts you know what I mean yeah so yeah yeah, like, yeah you, you exactly build, build your, you could put your personality out in what you wore couldn't you you know what I mean George St. Pierre used to come in in his gi or you know and uh, yeah. yeah look good I, I, I don't know so yeah, it's, well, I'm it's, I, I, I'm pre- sorry, I'm pretty sure Venom's got the next deal now, and they that's what I've heard. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully they have, and um, because Venom seems to produce some funky stuff, don't they? Let's be honest, the Reebok stuff looks fucking boring and shite, doesn't it? it, it I, just, I wouldn't buy. There's no, there's no, um, there's no character to the stuff they've got, you know. No character yeah. whatsoever. So, yeah. You know, I've seen a couple of people wear them at gyms and it's like, you really bought that? Fucking hell, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, mm, I, I couldn't do it. It's just like it's just done on a kid with the computer, isn't it? So, yeah. You know. So, yeah. going off for a bit, what, what was the best thing about fighting in the UFC then? Um, the best thing about. Where I fought, mate. I fought in Las yeah. Vegas. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, this is like a lifetime uh-huh. dream. I fought in Madison Square Gardens. You know what I mean? You I fought, fought in Las Vegas. Oh. Yeah, I fought Madison Square Gardens. I fought in Las Vegas. You know, I got... Like, one thing I will say about the UFC is when you're there, you, you like, when a fight week, you're treated like a superstar. You know, everything's mm-hmm. laid out for you. You're treating like a superstar. Um, 